feels good, boys. Feels good to be able to say this. Yo, what's going on, everyone? And we are back. Woo! That feels good. It feels good. We're going to get a little uh, message from our sponsor real quick. Need cheap stubs? Hit up AOA.com. Use code SCOMO for 3% off. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? How are we doing? How are we doing? New spot. New spot. I need everyone to let me know how is the audio. Bro, I need to know how is the audio. I Oh, wait, hold on. We got the focus thing on. Let's let's turn on. We don't need a This is a little harder to do on this setup. I got to focus and then click the button. We're good. We're good. So there we are. We're back, boys. What's up, John Sienna? Cosmic, how we doing? Ethan, Matt, Scone, the goat himself. What up, man? Animosity makes my uh, logos. Tanner, Greg, what up, man? Tavon, Hunter, C Ball, and how we doing, man? Austin, Jeremy, Fly, Eagles, Fly. What's up, Glenn? Two Tone, Ryan, TJ, Austin. Man, it feels good to be back live. I already need water. All right, boys. How's everything? I know we got a new setup. We're going to go over everything. We're going to go over everything. James, Dab, appreciate you coming by. What's up, Corey? Carter? What's up, Dalton? What's that? Be Bougie, Bougie? I don't know. Bougie, what's up, man? <laughs> I'm always uh, due to destroy like three or four names every stream. How we doing? Audio's good. Should be able to hear some music. Should be able to hear me. Do I sound better than previous streams? Do I sound the same as previous streams? I want to know. I got a new office. I just set up new like soundproofing. We got carpet in here. We did move to a new crib. We did move to a new crib. You left Coogs for me, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Say what's up to Coogs for me. Shook is back, my homie. Always. Day one, homie. Helping me out since day one, man. Thanks so much. Woo. Boys. I, I still got a lot of work back here. I did all this. Everything you can't see right now is what I've been working on for the last two days to be able to go live right now. We're gonna get the rest of the lights, we're gonna get the setup, we're gonna get everything balanced out. But I got a new ring light, yo. It's like adjustable. Like, woo-wee. It's crazy. I, th I think I, I think I like it like right, like right there looks good. Maybe like down like one notch. Like right there. Is that, is that the spot? Is that the spot? I need you guys to be able to tell me like we can go like down one more like right there that's the spot I think that's the spot bro we got Marco bro boys I don't know if he wants to show himself but uh Marco has uh invaded the house as you could say he was my neighbor at the old location he is now a roommate at the new location it's crazy we got a lot of stuff to go over boys a lot of stuff to go over everything look good uh, bro how, how's the light is that is that good balance <laughs> all right so i'm gonna get different lamps we're gonna have like cute light strips we're gonna get the colors and everything looking good i want the audio to be perfect i already know i'm a loud pitchy so we need not that to be not so loud and pitchy here in the new crib, man. I really do appreciate everyone coming by. It's been about, I don't even know. What has been about six days? It's been about six days since my last stream. Boys, we got a lot of grinding. We got to build everything back up. Mad 19 right around the corner. Hopefully immortals start dropping in MLB. 2K19, 
We got Red Dead. Fortnite is going to be back. We got Marco living with us. We got Marco living with us. We're definitely going to have to do some Fortnite streams for sure. Dude, I'm, I'm, boys, I, I got, I ordered so much stuff. This wall right here where you see this, there's going to be an Odell Beckham signed jersey and, and then another picture, the catch. <laughs> We're going to have Lawrence Taylor, boys, Marvel wall, Giants wall. It's going to be lit. It's everything. It's going to be dope here, man. I'm excited. <sighs> while we were gone, while we were gone, new packs dropped. We have a new program. We do have a collector. This is the money line. This is what I like to call the money line. And MLB, the, you know, you can grind these. You can grind this as a creative player. You can grind these team epics. They take forever. You know, you got to collect some stuff. This is grinding, grinding. A lot of grinding, right? Right, right, right. This is what I like to call the money line. This, you want Vlad? <laughs> Drop that money. You wanted Jose Reyes? Drop that money. You wanted Eddie Matthews? Drop that money. So today, shit, you know what we doing. You know what we doing. We dropping the money. Willie McCovey. 195 discipline. I don't know if that matters, but 98 clutch. 116 power versus, I mean... Another power first baseman. I don't know. He's only common fielding. I don't know. He might be a duck, bro. You know I love bringing a pinch hitter off the. Yeah, I. I I'll get a 95 overall diamond that's worth 180 thousand stubs and put him on my bench. Why not? Why not? I don't know. The game gives me nothing else to do, so we gotta do it. It's the only new content we can play events. I Bro, how are we doing? I see everyone in the chat. D. Cole, appreciate you coming by, man. Francisco, what's up, man? I appreciate the love, man. What batting stance do I use on the creative player? I use uh, All-Star 26. Uh, we are going to be doing Madden stream on the Xbox tomorrow morning. Ripping a ton of packs, giving away all kinds of stuff. Tomorrow morning, we will be live right here. Do I remember you, Jeff? I do remember the name Carwell. I appreciate you coming by again, man. What up, B-Dub? As always, man. Whoo! Does he have 91 zone, though? I don't know if he has 91 zone. He's from Alabama, though. Roll Tide. Story time? Is it story time? Brooks ready for the story. Is everyone ready for the story? So everyone want to know... This is gonna be uh, more of like a life lesson. I want you to learn from my experience after this story. That before we even get into this, uh, he, is he better? We're not gonna ask logical questions, Shook. We're just gonna do what they give us, okay? It's MLB. You can't, you can't be logical. I mean, let, let's let's check it. I, I'm hitting the. I'm hit. I'm came out. There it is. All right, so we can check versus Stargell. I mean, he's at 90, 95. And Stargell's more balanced, I guess. I don't know, man. What was the vision on Willie? We got to look at that. Stargell's got better fielding, more balanced power. What was the vision on Willie? Hold, 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 the, hold the phone, man. All right, Vision's 88. Okay, okay. With the updates and stuff, and I haven't played on the new patch, but I know Vision's key. That 88 Vision better be clutch. That 88 Vision better be clutch. But we're going in. We're going in. I'm going to try to rip some packs. This is the plan. This is, this is the plan, boys. Boys. Uh, active orders. Uh, I already have an order for 158,000 stubs for this bat. Unfortunately, I put it up about an hour ago and still no one has bought the bat. So I was hoping like I would be like holding Someone outbid me Okay Okay 160 175 oh, 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 Okay, okay, so 
What we're gonna try to do is uh, we're gonna try to um, rip and open a pack, pull a bat. If we don't pull a bat, we'll buy the bat. What else am I gonna do on this game? All right, so story time. Am I drinking right now water because I'm still kind of getting over a cold? Every time I travel, I did go to LA. Vlog coming on Saturday, Sunday. Um, every time I travel, man, those planes get me sick every time. Every time. The bat must give 30 plus power. Exactly. All right, so we're going to go into packs and it's story time. We're going to open packs. All right, boys. So here it was. It was about 17 months ago. If you guys remember, I was living in a condo in Boynton Beach, Florida. Um, wife, Miss Scone. Um, she got recruited by a new hospital, basically, uh, down here in Miami. Paying even more money, wanting to promote her, do all kinds of stuff. And we're like, all right, cool. We didn't originally move down to Miami because it was really expensive. So, like, we did Boynton Beach. Be Give me a second. Little back buttons on this. Yeah. I mean, I got a diamond ball. Was that, who knows what I got? Who knows what I got? And with my binder, no clue. No clue. I guess we're going to search. We're going to search to see what I pulled right there. Switching controller so I don't have a back button. There we go. All right, let's see what we got out of that thing. Um, so we decided, we're like, all right, we're going to move down to Miami, right? Since she's getting more money, we'll be able to afford the cost of living. And that's what we told them. Like, bro, like, we didn't move down to Miami because it's expensive. Oh, that, that turned. That's right. I was like, is that a diamond that I haven't seen? Um, I'm, I'm just looking to see if I pulled a diamond. We got, I don't think, I don't think I got anything. So, we then decided to move down to Miami. We weren't going to buy a house because we didn't know if we were going to stay here forever or how it was going to work out. So, we decided, that was the mom. I almost got excited. We need the dad one. Okay. Um, going back to PAX. So, we came down here and we started looking for houses and a lot of you guys are not familiar. Miami's house market is crazy. Obviously, everyone and everyone wants to live in Miami. A house goes up for rent, it's, it's literally gone. It's literally gone. You put a house up on the market, it's gone that day, the next day, something like that. So, like, we're literally looking for houses and, like, as we're looking, we're like, one's posted, we're on the way. We're, yet, we're like, driving there, it's gone. Like, it, it, it's, it was nuts. So, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. I also have Ryder. If you guys don't know, Ryder is a pit bull. Pit bulls are illegal in Dade County. Miami is Dade County. But, Ryder is actually a certified, um, what do you want to call it? Um, service dog, right? So, I have actually certified him as a service dog. So, I get away with having him in other areas that you're normally not allowed to have certain dogs or pit bulls in illegal areas. So we find a place and it was a really nice place. It was the place I just moved from, that house. If you guys have been following me, you see the place. When I saw that, obviously we were like, hell yeah, we want to move here. And this guy, they're telling us, the real estate investment uh, person, I mean the real estate agent is telling us a lot of people looking at this house. They're getting offers. We make an offer. They declined our offer because someone made a better offer on the house. Okay. So, Shannon really wants the house. I, I, I really want the house. There really was no other options. It was like this house that was really, really nice. And then they're like... Houses that just really wasn't nice because if it if it's on the market literally longer than five days in Miami it, 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 It's not that good. That's just the way it is so uh, We up the bu we up the money we offered more money more down payment all this kind of stuff and We shelled out a lot a lot of money to move in to a house in Miami now, if you guys are asking, like, <clears throat> how much is rent in Miami? It's more than what you're paying, unless you live in, like, L.A. Then you're paying the same thing I'm paying. <laughs> it's a lot, boys. 
It's a lot. It's thousands. Okay. What is that? Dad glove. We need a dad bat. So we upped all the money, and the dude that lived there, his wife was pregnant. Obviously, Moscone, nurse, baby doctor, baby nurse, all that, all that kind of stuff. They liked us. They accepted our offer and we moved in. We lived there. Everything was good. We paid all of our money on time, every time, no issues, nothing whatsoever. And he was cool and chill, never heard from him, never dealt, ne never any problems whatsoever. Um, we love the house so much that we wanted to buy the house. So we tried to communicate with him that we wanted to maybe go to like a rent to own, something. She loved her job. I, we like being in Miami. Things were working out. We're like, shit, let's stay. So we decided to hit him up and ask him about buying the house from him. You know, did he move out because... I haven't pulled diamond forever. Okay, okay. We got a diamond, boys. I almost forgot you can pull those things. I mean, it's like an upgraded diamond, so it's like kind of like a gold card. It's now a diamond, but we'll take it. We'll take it. It's a good one. It's a good one. So, now we're talking to him about buying this house, right? And then all of a sudden, he just goes M-I-A. Just can't get a hold of him. Can't nothing. So now I'm like, this is really iffy. So now we just start investigating this guy. Like, what is he? Who is he? All that kind of stuff. I start searching his name. Not real diamond, right? Start searching his name. And what do you find? As soon as you put that thing in Google and hit enter, boom. <laughs> this whole list of federal, like, indictments, investigations. I mean, the list just goes, oh, that's the wrong gear, bro. I need a bat. I need a bat. So now we see all these indictments and investigations, fraud, medical fraud, insurance fraud, all these things that the government is investigating them on. So we hit up the local, local attorney general. That's who is prosecuting. They're the local attorney, you know, federal for the state, you know, handle all that. They're the one prosecuting everything. So we hit them up. They're like, yep, we are about to take this dude to court. And we're like, well, we gave him lots of money for deposits and, you know, guarantees and all this stuff. And they're like, well, he's not paying his mortgage. Awesome. So the money I've been giving him every month, he hasn't been paying his mortgage on top of everything else going on in his life. Great. So we asked the attorney general what we do. They said, don't worry, you're good. Chill out in the house. We sent them some pictures and stuff like that. Let them know we're taking care of everything. Everything is good to go. We're living in the house. We told the people, it wasn't the actual attorney general itself, you know, but, you know, the assistant, you know, the person in the office, you know, there was like a bunch of lawyers underneath the main, you know, actual attorney general. So we're telling them like the story and everything. And they're like, you know what? You take care of the house, we're seizing the house, you take care of the house, and then we'll sell you the house once we get everything straightened away, and you can buy the house at a government seized price, foreclosed price, something, some, some good. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, sweet. So we go on now, live in there, as the house is now going to be potentially ours. And we lived there for about six months, um, taking care of everything, you know, living in it, upkeeping everything, taking care of everything. No landlord now. We do everything ourselves. So every month on the first of the month or so, we would check in with the attorney general's office. How are things going? Anything we need to do? Is there any update in the situation? Blah, 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 blah. One or two months go by, nothing happens. Third month goes by, I think it was, and he actually gets convicted and prosecuted. Goes to jail, four years, $3.2 million in fraud. Yeah. This dude, I mean, if you're gonna go big, 
You go big. This big. He went big. He went big. So if they if they caught him on 3.2 million in fraud, you know he probably did about a cool 10. He probably did about a cool 10, which he probably got some stashed away somewhere. But so now they seized his house. He owes 3.2 million dollars and he's in jail for four years. Now we start getting letters in the mail, not to us, but to the dude's name that used to own, well, not, he still owned it, they took it, but you know, the dude that's in the jail. So now he's in jail, we're getting letters, and now we're telling the attorney generals, and they're like, don't worry, the letters from the bank, we're handling all that. We're putting a cease and desist, we are claiming the house. He owes us $3.2 million, we're using the house as a way to be able to get recoup some of that 3.2 million dollars and you guys are already saying that you're willing to sell it buy it so that's like three hundred forty thousand dollars right in their hand boom you know that's the wrong bat so now they're saying you're good everything's good what up propane appreciate you coming by what up jeff do they change the odds when the players get upgraded? Who knows, man? Who knows? I mean, the golds are just as rare anyways. The golds are about as just as rare. I mean, have you seen me pull a gold? I pulled one diamond with no golds. Um, so, where am I at? Convicted, jail, banks, letters. Attorney General saying they're putting a cease and assist. Don't worry about this. Everything's good. We have the house. Another month goes by, check in, all good. Another month goes by, check in, all good. Another month goes by, check in, all good. And then like the next day, someone calls back. Okay. Interesting. This, this has yet to happen. What's the word? The case has been handed over to someone else. We have reviewed the case and we are no longer pursuing the house. We are going to return the house back to the bank. And we are then going to go on with the case. Okay, so what do we need to do? You call the bank. Awesome. Well, did you say we can buy the house? Yeah, but you just call the bank. Awesome. So we call the bank. Hey, we want to buy the house. Well, you can't buy the house. Why not? It's already going up for auction. I thought there was a cease and desist letter on the auction. No, we didn't stop it. They requested us to stop it, but we pretty much said, you, we ain't doing it. Awesome, no one told me. When does the uh, auction start? <gasps> Five days. Excuse me? Th did you just say that they're auctioning the house that I'm living in in five days? Hold on. So you mean like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which was a holiday, and then like Tuesday? Five days? Yeah. Sweet. 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 Awesome. 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 Okay. So now what? What do you got to do? Well, because it's the weekend and because of the holiday, you no longer can wire transfer a down payment for your bid. Okay, so what do we need to do? Oh, you need to bring cash to the office before end of business hour. When's that? 45 minutes. Sweet. Is this a joke? No. Awesome. So you're telling me I have 45. You can imagine what I said. Minutes to go bring you money for a down payment on a bid for a house that I was told I was going to buy that I'm living in. Yes. Awesome. 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 So then, boys, the story gets better. There's some holy shit, some bras, some holy cat. It, it, it gets better. Somehow, some way, 
somehow, some way, I try to find a way to be able to get the stack of cash <laughs> to the place if I needed to be able to bid on the house. But then the first person doesn't want to sell me the house. They want to live in the house themselves. Well, bro, what am I going to do? Well, instead of five days, we'll give you 30 days to get out. Bro, I don't want to get out. This is my house. <laughs> so, even though we had a stack of cash that we were going to use, it really wasn't to help me get the house. I was like, yes, I found a large stack of cash. Someone's going to help me. They, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't want to help me. They wanted to take my house. So, we passed, and then we planned, and they're like, well, you can watch the auction, it's online, sir, if no one bids on it, you can then buy it back from the bank. Really? Yeah, awesome. So how many houses are being auctioned? Hundreds. Are you serious? Yes. Every day, hundreds of houses are foreclosed in Miami, and they go all go up for auction all the time. And I'm like, sweet. So someone might not even know about this house. Hopes once again that I might have a chance to still buy that house. We're buying more packs. I, I, I don't want. I want more packs. We're gonna open up those packs last. Five packs. We're going another another twenty. Another 20. So they tell us the date, the time, and everything. We register so we can watch the auction, right? The auction pops up. Bro, there's like nine people bidding on the house. It was a G, G, from go. They ended up. Buying the house that was valued around $440,000 for about $334,000 at auction. A steal. But yet they still haven't seen the house. It's an online silent auction. So we don't know. It could have been someone in freaking Abu Dhabi that bought the house. Could have been someone in Cali. Could have been someone down the street. Could have been anyone that bought the house. We waited about another day for all the paperwork to get filed, and boom, we get the name, we investigate it, and it actually is a Miami contract company that bought the house. Low battery? Low battery! Battery switch. One second, boys. Swap that. A little, little camera switch. Oh, if you think, if you think you've heard the best parts of the story, boys, you have not heard the best part of the story. I promise you. It just keeps getting better. It really does. It just keeps getting better. All right. We good? We back? Everyone here? If you guys could, please drop a like on the video, man. I really do greatly appreciate everyone coming by. Alright. So, we hit them up. We're like, dude, you just bought this house for $334,000. By this point, we've already hit up the mortgage brokers. We've already hit up everything. We got the paperwork going to get money, to get approved, get everything, to get a check, a big check. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna offer you $20,000 cash right now, like right now, profit. Your number plus 20 and you're done. The house is mine. David, what's good, man? We pulled Paxton. Thank you very much, Shooks. Only diamond so far. No bat yet. We're still hunting. So, 
he was going to be able to buy the house, flip the house within less than 24 hours, have a buyer, never see the house, never need to list the house, never need to fix the house, never need to do anything. He's buying a foreclosed house off an auction that he never seen. It could have been gutted and trashed. It could have been anything. He about to make 20 grand in a day. In a day. This dude countered and said a hundred grand. I lost it. At that point, I think I like twitched a little bit. Something snapped. And for about four days, I was pure and irate. You remember some of those streams when I went live in the morning, bro? I went, I mean, I was in straight battles on the phone with people. Hang up the phone, cussing out, and hit the live button. Yo, bitches! <laughs> Woo! I was amped. I was so mad. This dude wanted a hundred grand in one day sight unseen and no clue. I lost it, bro. Whew. I lost it. I flipped out. We went straight. Straight. I don't even know what to... I guess as what Toke says, we went full fucking nuclear, boys. Boys, I ripped everything out the house. Refrigerator, washer, dryer, dishwasher, oven, $3,000 built-in range, lighting, everything. Out the motherfucking house. We loaded up a U-Haul. I rented a storage center. I went in on those motherfuckers, boys. I mean, if you think Savage, we took the gloves off. I mean off. Oh yeah. And at that point, I made my play. And oh boys, it was a good one. It was a good one. At this point, I had to leave. At this point, I got on a plane and flew to LA. Yeah, I flew to LA with all this going on, hanging out with Toad, CC, EA Play, and all this. Wife and my mother-in-law had to find a house, this house, and move in. Well, it cost about five grand about move in with everything. Sounded like a good number to me. So I wrote an email. I wrote an email. Might have been one of the best emails I've wrote. It pretty much went like this. You have a choice, sir. You can pay me $5,000 cash and you can come see your house. And I'm still taking the refrigerator, the washer and the dryer. But if you don't pay me $5,000 cash and come look at everything, you're going to be able to see through this motherfucker. He tried to call my bluff. I said, test me. He countered with $3,000. I said, fuck you, it's five grand or nothing. I got my check for $5,000, a new refrigerator and a washer and dryer. It's better be a fucking bat in this thing. 
And we got a new crib. Now, unfortunately, with the time and having to move out of that house so fast, we were not able to buy a house. So we have to rent once again. But we did find a very nice place. We're gonna live here for a year. We don't love it as much to be able to buy it like we did the last one. But we're gonna live here for a year. And basically this whole year, we're gonna get everything straightened out. And we're gonna try to find a place to buy and live and move into next year. But for the time being, this is what it's gonna be. We at least got a dope office. We got a nice little view. We got a pool and a hot tub. So it didn't work out too bad. Oh, come get, get back. But long story short, boys. Don't trust anyone. Like, don't trust anyone. I should have just double checked and triple checked and asked more questions. Like, if you get in that situation and, like, it's about your money or your house or something and someone tells you you're good, like, go ask five more people. Maybe ten. I should have called everyone, bro. I should have had everything in an order on way. But I figured that the Attorney General telling me I'm good. I, I'm a dumbass. I really am. But lesson learned. Lesson learned, boys. I do appreciate everyone, man. I do appreciate everyone sticking around. We're going to be back on the grind. We're going to... Stream Madden tomorrow. Big Madden stream. Tons of packs. Giving away everything on the Xbox. I might even have some PSN giveaways. A few codes for the PlayStation guys since I don't have any P uh, PSN coins or anything right now. Just to show some love and support back to you guys for always supporting me. We are going to have new gameplay tomorrow night, edited gameplay of MLB. We do have a few new gameplays to do. Um, Shook, our homie, grind all the new diamond like player programs. So we got all of those done. We will get you those ASAP. But we will also go ahead and get you this willy. I think I'm gonna do willy tomorrow. Maybe willy and someone tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure. We might do a double. We might do a double debut tomorrow. I still didn't even pull it. Didn't even pull the chest. Like, give me a chest, bro. All right, here we go. What time are we streaming tomorrow? We streaming tomorrow morning. Um 10:30. 10:30 a.m. Madden drop, Madden content. Um Blockbuster solo things were today for like you guys to like vote on like that kind of stuff. So um I don't know, maybe they'll drop the actual blockbusters tomorrow. Obviously, there'll be the uh legends and a limited. So we'll pull some packs. And of course, golden tickets are always, they're always in packs, guys. We can pull them all the time, and I, I, I can pull one and give them to you guys. Uh, it didn't look like there was a roster update. No. Uh, new event, some packs, and stuff like that. Um, you do have, uh, there was, there was Mike Scott. Mike Scott's pretty nasty, but the splitter. The four seam, the slider, and a curve. That's a nasty weapon. And 99 break. I wish his velocity was a little more poop. A little more pop. Like 95, 96, and like if that was like 75 on the velocity. But that's probably still a really, really good card. Really good card. Um, I think that's about everything new, right? 
think it's about everything new, something like that. They'll drop blockbusters on Monday after the other solos. Hopefully they give us something tomorrow, man. Hopefully they give us something tomorrow. I saw that Panthers did pull a golden ticket today. Pretty crazy. That was what, like a boss battle upgrade pack or something like that? I think you did it out of. But guys, I know this was like a little shorter stream. I wanted to rip these packs. I just wanted to chill and talk to you guys. I know not everyone was interested in the story, but uh, you guys are my family. This community is my family, man. I know I put myself out there and, uh, you know, I really don't mind it. I really don't. You guys are awesome. So I, I felt like I should fill you guys in. You know, it was, it was a bunch of crazy stuff. You guys support me. I didn't upload for all that time and a lot of crap was going on. My attitude and moods and everything was crazy. Felt like you guys deserved an honest explanation. So we did it. Um, as always, guys. I really do appreciate everyone. You guys give me so many opportunities and blessed and blessed to be able to do all this stuff that I get to do every day. So thank you guys very, very much. Back on the grind tomorrow. Mad stream tomorrow. MLB edited video. Probably do Road to the Show stream and the AEA vlog on Sunday. Normal schedule all again. Office will keep on getting better. The setup will keep on getting better. We'll do some Fortnite streams with Marco. Guys, I love you. Until later, scum out. Yeet!